So here we are for the Swift Base Camp 2. It's a 2020 special edition of model. My wife and I have just picked this up as a used where the second owner is and driven it back from Doncaster today. So 100 mile drive back, um, pulled it, towed it on a two litre diesel car. The uh, average miles per gallon I normally get on its own is about 49.9 and towing this I was getting 36.4. Very easy to tow, I've never towed a caravan before. 36.4 miles to the gallon, you can feel it slightly pulling on the back but pretty effortless. And this came, um, this came fitted with a, a motor mover, which you can see there, which took, completely took the stress out of getting the uh, caravan on my drive. As you can see, we have cars double parked. So uh, it made it a doddle. I was quite worried about getting on the drive, but it made it a doddle. So on the outside, there's various points for connecting water, waste, um, gas, barbecues, gas outlets, dog wash, etc., etc. There's your toilet set, but let's have a quick look inside. So we've just got it home, spent a couple of hours cleaning it up, but let's just go down here. You've got the two bench seats and these bench seats pull out to make a large double bed. We've got a table there, but let's just sit here and look into the caravan this way. So we've got the TV, DVD, we've got the kitchen. Um, there's various electricity points. We've got a socket there, we've got USB chargers. We've got a bank of plugs there. As we come around, we've got all um, LED lighting, which can be controlled over here. We've got to learn how to use this, but you can dim all your lights and really set the mood. So we're looking forward to that. Don't know how it works yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Into the kitchen, we've got a three gas burner. We've got our double oven. We've got our fridge. And here, look at this. We've got a, a total complete wet room. It's got a sink. That's your shower. We've got a toilet. And there's the curtain that can go around. We've got a great little jet wash power shower there. A light, we've got a cupboard here just for keeping some toiletries and stuff in. Turn the light off in there. Yeah. Come over here. We've got a wardrobe. We've got a table like there is the TV aerial. And then underneath there, we've got the, um, the boiler heating system. It's essentially heated um, uh, van, so yeah if you look around we've got a heating the heating outlets you've got these here securing straps you can put bikes and stuff in here and, and secure your bikes in here so it really is designed for the great outdoors which is what my wife and i are all about so we're looking forward to some adventures in this i'll just come back out so yeah we'll be taking it to campsites and touring the country but really the reason we bought this model um, over everything else is because it is designed to be off grid so if we have a look on the roof here, I'll just take you up. If you have a look on the red, there's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. So there we have it. A quick whistle stop tour of the base camp too. And then here we've got our gas canister, our spare alloy wheel, electric cables and all the bits and bobs. It also came with a Van Gogh awning. Um, as well as lots of other accessories, so we're absolutely made up with it. Absolutely delighted with it. So, watch out for some adventures coming soon.